Okay, guys, caffeine is too powerful. <laughs> caffeine is too strong. They need to nerf caffeine in the new update. Yeah, dude, coffee is OP. I have been sitting here for the past like three, four hours. I couldn't think of anything at all. I sat, I sat here for an hour. I recorded the, a, a video for uh, f like 56 minutes, just screwing around and it sucked and I hated it and it'll never see the light of day. But then I had some caffeine. <laughs> I poured myself a coffee, okay? And I grabbed my guitar and immediately I started to riff around on something I liked. And now I have a clear direction of what I want to do today for Thick Riff Thursday. So welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday, caffeinated riff Thursday, it's on. Let's go. I have this chord that I play, I play it kind of often. All right, I'll play it on a clean channel so you can see what the actual chord is. Wow, there's so much delay on that tone. Anyway, that's the chord. Um, and I have a riff idea based around that chord and like a rhythm and maybe like some little tappy licks and stuff. It'll be fun, trust me. So that's the rhythm. I think I wanna displace it a little bit at some point and then do, what was my tapping lick that I had? Doing like a little pull off thing down here. That's gonna be hard. <laughs> I want it to be just like a crazy sporadic thing where I have to punch in the guitar a bunch of times. <laughs> Ooh, I think I like that better. Get that minor second in there. Is that tapping lick too long? Maybe it should just be... That's the chord I originally wanted to do, but kind of like it just without this note in there. <sighs> trying to think of a way to turn it around. I'm trying to like iron this out a little bit. It's kind of tough and my arm is really tired now. We need some AC up in this bitch. I like that slide. <laughs> That could be the way to get into the tapping thing. I like that. And then the second time around, we can do the displacement thing where I do the, the slide. This is cool, guys. It's taken me a while to figure out exactly what I want to do. Not a, not a bad scratch take right there. So intro, I actually had an intro idea. Doing the riff, but making the drums more syncopated. And maybe only do it like two bars. So like. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Let's go over to the drums. Um, I may not do, I, I may just get the hands over on the drums. So like. I, I may not play the kick, and I'll just punch the kick in on the keyboard. All right, let's get those kicks in there, man. Oop, 
messed up the pattern there. Let's make it 16th notes, and then these need to be 16th and 16th note triplet. <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't do the anticipation there yet. Four kicks. <laughs> Just completely missed all of it. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. You know what? Let's do bass before we get good guitar takes, because I feel like bass won't be too hard. Just copy the kick midi. There we go. That's the note. I think bass is all just open notes, unless we want to do... We can have the bass do like a... -na 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 -na, right there. I think that could be cool. Maybe later. Let's have it do it here at the end of the riff, not in the middle of it. Cause it'd be cool to have that just be a guitar moment. What can I say, man? I'm a guitarist. I want my songs to have guitar moments. Drag this down to B minus two. There we go. It's probably gonna need to be way slower. Yeah. Even slower. Slower. Okay, there we go. Did you guys look at that? Bass is already done. All right, now we're gonna get all this stuff individually. We're gonna piece this together. Let's make a tracking track. Leave my scratch take over here in case I forget anything. It's not entirely impossible. We'll get the intro last. Let's just make sure we get the main riff first. Let's just get those open chugs, man. Those were some good takes right there, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right, let's get those chords. Okay, should I go up there? So. Uh, or save that for later in the riff and just do it the. That chord both times. I think I'll save the higher one for later. Okay, those were good right there. All right, let's get that little fill. That was a good one. I decided there halfway through getting all of those that I wanted that chord to be higher. That's so clean, dude. We can get that one take. That felt good. These guitars sound so good. God damn it. Kiesel pickups are so crazy underrated. Shout out to Logan Young. I remember when I was building, when I was building this guitar and ordering it, I was very indecisive on what I wanted the pickups to be. And I asked him what he likes because he's a fellow Kiesel artist and he has a bunch of custom Kiesel builds. So I asked him what he likes and he recommended the Thorium 
Uh, so I got thorium in the bridge, man, and it sounds so ripping, dude. Fret wrap. Where's my fret wrap? Where did all my fret wraps go, man? I think my dogs have been eating my fret wraps. I'm so dumb, dude. I use an open string for that. I can't, can't even use a fret wrap. All right, I guess I just have to be good at guitar. That one felt really good. Surely I've got a couple of those in there that are good. That one's perfect. Good Lord. Let me zoom in on that, dude. That was actually perfect. What the hell? A little early on the first note, but boom, that one's on. Boom, that one's on. Boom, that one's on. That's a little messy there, I guess. That note's on, that note's on. Not bad for a bedroom gent guitarist. This riff is sick. I'm not even done tracking it yet. I haven't even listened to it all the way through, but I can already tell you this riff is banging. I just need to get the slide here on the 12th bar. Guys, come on. Come on. I didn't even loop that one. The last two were good, I think. Yeah, I like that one. And then the tapping lick is the same. So we can drop that on there. So the intro, I think I want the guitars to drop out there and it just be a drum fill. Got to do 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 do. Why is that a flam? Want those to be tom. Maybe this can be a lo-fi track here. Let's turn my tracking track into a lo-fi track. The natural progression. Hell yeah. That's pretty sick, actually. The drum fill alone felt kind of bare. Some bass drops, some risers, some impacts. We gotta make it slap. Uh, I would like some ambient clean stuff going on. Maybe clean, maybe clean. I don't know if it should be clean. Maybe it should be distorted. <laughs> That was a good one. I was kind of just improvising until I found something I liked. All right, guys, I think we're done. That's sick. Dude, that tapping part at the end. I tracked that so f well. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn. You guys see me every week struggle to track stuff, but like I kind of nailed this riff. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thick Riff Thursday. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content and I will see you guys next week. Peace.